I am about to show you how to stop running out of air when you play the flute, which is really good because it means that you can play longer phrases. There are five causes for running out of air when you play the flute, and I'm going to take you through each one of those now. But first I'll introduce myself. I'm Jane. I live in Sydney in Australia. My business is called the Flute Teachers School, which is all about a different way of getting better at the flute. So instead of just saying you just need to practice more, it's all about finding the specific technique that you need to know to fix a particular problem that you've got, which I love. It's just such an efficient way of teaching and an efficient way of learning for you. It means that my students, so online like you and my real life students learn really fast, get better really fast. Oh, I should say stick around to the end of this video and I'm going to show you how you can get free access to a mini course that really quickly improves your tone on the flute. Some of the things in this video will also improve your tone on the flute. But that mini course that I'm telling you about at the end, I'll tell you how to go into more depth and really seriously improve your tone. So the five things that stop you running out of air. Number one. The hole in your embouchure, in your mouth, is too big when you play. That will cause you to run out of air. It's probably pretty obvious that if you've got a big hole that's too big and you're blowing way too much air out that you need, you're going to get rid of that air really fast. This is also the same cause of what makes you dizzy and what makes you have a fluffy sound. So fix this thing about too big a hole and you'll fix all those three things. Dizzy, fluffy sound, running out of air. It's all connected to the size of your hole. So this is a good size hole. And this is too big. And you can see I just ran out of air. Number two thing for causing you to run out of air is that the shape of your embouchure, the shape of your mouth is not the right shape. Now, if you're too pulled back like this, or it's too round, or you're eating your lips a bit too much, or they're too flopped forward. All of those things mean that there is wasted air. If you're too tight, the air gets wasted out the side. If it's too round, it just gets wasted straight out the front. If you're wasting air, you're going to run out of air because you're not using that air efficiently. The third thing that makes you run out of air when you play is if you don't have enough to start with. If you have a good embouchure, good size hole, it's not too big, and you're running out of air, there's a chance that you're not breathing in efficiently. Sometimes people take tiny little breaths like this. And they keep running out of air because when they breathe in, they only take like that much. Take your time to breathe and take a good solid breath of air. So take a longer time to breathe open up your mouth and get more air in like this. Now I could keep going on, but that gets boring. <laughs> So I got, I got so much air in that I didn't need to breathe. The fourth thing that can help you breathe better to give you more air to be able to play longer phrases is using your whole body more efficiently to breathe. So for example, when you take your time to breathe with a big open mouth, it's not all about here. Your lungs are more than just here. It's about your entire torso. So you want to breathe from the sides going out. You want to breathe from your belly going out. You want to breathe from your back going out and use your whole body like a squeeze box. Fill the entire thing up from all sides. And then when you breathe out, it gradually, gradually goes down. Think about that when you take time to breathe, use your whole body to breathe. Now I would suggest that if you're running out of air on the flute, that those two breathing points are not the most important for you to learn. I would say that it's up here. So start with those embouchure ones and you're going to see a big difference. And the fifth and final thing that makes you run out of air on the flute, which is pretty common, is that you're blowing too hard. If you get your embouchure to be more refined, like in those first two points, you won't need to blow as hard. So if you play like this and you're blowing 
harder than you need to, you're going to run out of air more quickly. Compare that to not blowing so hard. You don't need as much air as what you think you do. As long as you're being efficient with the way that you blow, you'll use a whole lot less air, much less than what most people think they need. Okay, the free course, how to quickly improve your tone on the flute. It goes into more depth about how to quickly get a clearer, more resonant sound on the flute, and you will see instant changes. I hope to see you in that course.